Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, going to work on my Ham G Mercedes. It's a Kyo Show. Uh, is it MK2 phaser? Um, I'm gonna just put a drive line in there and show you. Uh, I put in a. Um, it had a 30 tooth pinion, and I put a 37 tooth pinion pinion in it already. So, and I also did added some lights which uh nice little tape job i got there huh <laughs> so i gotta redo this one here but uh yeah it looks pretty good at night it's kind of cool that the body came with that <clears throat> and just like i had to buy the lights which i had to sit already it's easy installation but um yeah this uh this drive line is plastic. And, um, I'm going to put this uh, metal one in, which is part number FAW209. And it's pretty easy, guys. Let's just uh, so zoom you in here. Get you a little closer. I'm just taking all these out of here. It's like taking the motor out. Get this motor plate off. It's, um, I didn't realize that when I bought this car, this car that these uh, screws would be like this. They're, um, you got the Allen hex, but they're, a coarse, a coarse thread. They're not like the machine screws used to. Seem to work pretty good though. Two in the back are long. Just gonna make sure you put them in the right spot. You don't want to strip this plastic out with these. Okay. So then this cap just pops off, just like so. And your motor's gonna do the same thing which um, I don't need to, but I'll show you guys. Just slides out. And I put, let's see if we can get this in there. Can't really see the numbers on there, huh? Let's see if we can get some more light in here for us. See the numbers there. Letters are really hard. So it goes into the I, I believe it is H I, yeah. It's a 37 tooth, which I got from Kyosha too. 37 tooth, 48 pitch. And it had a 32 tooth plastic in it. And it's just a cheap, it just slid on there. There's no, no set screw, no nothing. So it was kind of it was kind of odd when I did it, and you can see right here there's a little spot for your grub screw to line up and your tool to go in there so you can get it close enough so you can tighten it up. So it worked worked out pretty good. I gave it a few more miles per hour, and I'm, I'm just gonna leave this one stock because the parts are so hard to find right now. I mean it takes months to get anything so i've just left it stock i was going to throw in a uh, um i was going to throw in a brushless system but i decided not to i'm keeping that for my Fortec. so so and here's the part i'm just gonna this just pops out and you just kind of lift it up pull it out and it's pretty strong but a lot of flex I said when I was um, 
I'm gonna do this with the brushless system. That's why I got this. You don't need to change that if you're just gonna leave it stock, guys. You don't need to change it. I mean, it's a nice hop-up part, but. And, uh, so yeah. So if you just pull this up, right? This kind of has a lot of a lot of oomph, and this has a little bend to it since you pulled out the wall. screws out of it. Just pull it up, line it up, and put it back. Okay. Make sure it rolls. And take this and put this back in. And if you went like this right here. So that flat part goes down, but yeah. Yeah, like that. There we go. Okay. All right, that's it, guys. <laughs> as simple as that. All back together. I drove it the other day or the other night out in the street with the 37 tooth on there, and it did. You know, I didn't test it, so I will have to throw my GPS, my phone on there, strap it in here like I do on the battery, and give it a little spin. I think I got 25 my first trip. Um, so. There you go, and then I'll just put uh, all the screws back in. Simple, easy. All right. Remember the back ones, or the long ones. And then I wouldn't tighten it all the way down yet. Give it a couple. Oops. Oh, that one's not going to come out because of that. <laughs> the magnet. I don't remember that being like that. Oh, yeah, I guess it was. Okay. All right, guys, there you go. So... Easy peasy, guys. We're placing uh, the drive line with the metal drive line. And like I said, that gear was junk. I would replace this right away. I mean, I guess you don't have to, but I don't know. I just think it's a little cheesy. But other than that, it's a good little platform. Um, I just wish the parts support would be there a little bit you know the they got graphite all sorts of graphite pieces that'll make look at the i mean look at the bumpers just kind of i mean i guess for impact it'd be good but you can get graphite part here to make it nice and stiff um i do have a metal motor mount coming aluminum motor mount coming eventually i think i just saw they came in stock on uh, Kyosho's website. 
Um, but I believe I ordered it from uh, another company. So hopefully they'll be getting their sh shipment in soon. And um, and bam, we can go from there. So there you go, guys. Um, uh, thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and uh, you have a good day.